Welcome back to IGN Live at E3 2019. We've seen no shortage of Battle Royale games where people shoot each other in the head, but what about the real battle? The battle against gravity. In Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, a hundred funny little lopsided jelly bean people must navigate obstacle courses until only one champion remains. From Mediatonic Games, please welcome Fall Guys senior game designer Joe Walsh, and from IGN, my favorite funny little lopsided jelly bean person, Brian Altano. Yay! <laughs> hey, man. Hey, uh, how's it going? So this game just got revealed. Uh, I think it was Devolver Conference? Yeah. It is. I, it w I was given like a vague description of it behind closed doors at one point. I didn't know what to expect. It looks yeah. like a candy commercial, yeah. <laughs> but it's a battle royale game. Yeah, it's definitely the most colorful battle, for battle royale game. Uh, this might be the most colorful game at E3 period, yeah. honestly. It's, it's bright. So can you tell us a little bit about sort of the basic setup here? I gave the kind of yeah. rundown there. But, uh, yeah, sure. So Fall Guys is basically the biggest, greatest multiplayer game show that you've ever seen. So it's all about getting up to 100 real people in the same lobby at the same time, and then we run them through like round after round of elimination. And you kind of never know what you're going to be getting. So we're going to be throwing different things at you. Some might be obstacle courses. Some might be uh, like different versions of tag or things you might have played in the playground, stuff like that. Um, but like bit by bit, we whittle people down over time until we got like one final group of maybe a dozen, and we send them up the final gauntlet, Four Mountain. First one to grab the crown at the end wins, and then we go again. And so you don't know exactly which of these sort of obstacle series are going to be thrown at you. There's, yeah. there, there's like we're seeing like some sort of human Tetris. There's some platforming stuff. That there's a bunch of characters falling off a giant skateboard. Yeah. It's just total chaos, right? Yeah. So you're always controlling your character. Like it's always going to be a platformer at its heart. And like really, the variety comes from all the different insane things we, we get you to do, uh, and they could be yeah. And so, what were some of the inspirations for some of these sort of like uh, gauntlets that we get thrown at you? Because it, it seems like there's some almost monkey ball stuff. There's some like kind of uh, downhill platforming, all sorts yeah. of nonsense. Yeah. So I think the big inspiration of the first point was like uh, Takeshi's Castle. I think it's called MXC in the mm -hmm. US as well. So that was like really where we started. Was like, oh my god, someone should should take that and make a game, but. We're, we're trying to do loads of different things, like yeah, having things that you played, like different versions of freeze tag, or we're looking at like mass participation, things that you see in the real world, so like the Pamplona bull run, things like that, like taking info, um, taking reference from everywhere and finding new things to do. How, how long do each of the sort of the stages last? Would you say um, it kind of varies depending on what you're doing. Um, I think we're shooting for about three minutes, three to four minutes for each thing, so we want it to be quick. We want so, it to be fast paced. So this is our first look at some gameplay. We just did a yeah. bit of character select. I have some questions about whether that's their skill or not, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> yeah, we want to dig into the lore of this world. Exactly. Yeah, that's really so what hits th it. this really looks like a, almost like a nightmarish medicine commercial. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. is this a Cialis ad or whatever? Like, this is these guys are like now they're running through this like jungle labyrinth, yeah. and all the some of the doors are fake, but yeah. some could be busted through. Yeah, we're like embracing the RNG on this one a little bit. Like, yeah. you're just you pegging it forward. You got to pick a door. Hope that it's the right one. And so the doors, they light up in the eyes based on whether they're real or yeah. not? Yeah, yeah. so like when, you, when someone smashes into it, if you get the crossed eyes, that means like picked wrong, go again. But when you pick the right door, you like crash through, all the physics blocks go everywhere, and you like just can continue on to the next door. Yeah, this is like when a bunch of like highway lanes merge into like a bridge yeah. or something. Yeah, um, exactly. And so this is like the, the number of doors, does it expand and decrease through each section? Yeah, so the idea is that we kind of narrow everything down. So we start with, I think, about seven doors, and by the end it's three, and then there's a huge <laughs> cliff, cliff drop at the end. Yes. Uh, and yeah, are they insane. They're totally randomized? Yeah, we just totally randomize it every single time. Oh, God, I love it. God, this rules. Yeah. See, here's the thing is I, I actually I suck at video games, so I love it when one of the deciding factors is like chaos. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like when yeah. there's sort of an X factor to determine if yeah, I get to sure. win something. Yeah, like we're really like embracing the chaos, especially like in the early rounds. Later on, it gets like a little bit more skill focused, but yeah, we're just like going crazy with it. Did now, you guys like mocap Starburst fruit juices <laughs> or gum? Yeah, we, we, there's a lot of us running around the studio pretending to push each other over trying to figure <laughs> out. We have like um, our office manager like knitted these uh, four guys that we use to, to like, we like throw them around the studio and all that stuff to figure out how we want them to animate. So they are, they're called Fall Guys. Do they have any other canonical nicknames, such as the Tubby Boys? Yeah, we, we throw a lot of stuff around. Like, ultimately, we went with Fall Guys because it's just, they, you know, they're the butt of the joke every single time. But no matter how hard you get hit, you always get back up. Um, yeah. That's yeah. so sweet. So are this, this guy we're playing as right here has a nice, like, M on his back. Uh, yeah. How much customization is there for your... Uh, Oh, so way more than we're showing at the moment. Like, this is the, the very first pass just to get some variety in there, but we want, like, yeah, hats, uh, that was gonna different be my costumes. First question. And, like, we really want people to mix and match. Like, we want it somewhere between, like, a need for speed paint job, spray them up, customize them, and then with, with costumes over the top, like a football mascot, that kind of thing. Good lord. So we saw them, uh, we saw them on the giant skateboards. Yeah. 
it, would you would you say that compared to this, that's one of the sort of the levels that goes by way more way faster? Yeah, definitely. Like I think the the giant skateboard one is going to whiz by. But what we want to do as well is have rounds that aren't just one versus everyone. Like occasionally, it's like right, we're going to split everybody into two teams, and you know that half of these people are going to be eliminated. Mm -hmm. So the people you were racing against the last round, now they now they're your teammates. But as soon as that round finishes and you're on to the next one, it's like back to back to. All for, all, all for it again. Would you say this is the most serious Battle Royale game ever made? Oh, yeah. I mean, look at that. That is just grimdark. Okay, yeah. so now please explain this nonsense madness we're looking at. Cause yeah. I love it. Yeah, cool. What so is happening? Is, so this is like Fall Mountain. So this okay. is our, uh, the, the, the level <laughs> we're showing at the moment. This is, there's a golden crown at the end, which you'll see in a minute. And it's everyone starts at the start line. And we're just chucking giant uh, boulders down, down this insane oh mountain. Oh, my God. These, like, this is like reverse paddles. pachinko. Yeah. Yes, pachinko is like where we started with it. But um, you've got to jump and grab the crown at the end. There's like giant conveyor belts. Um, it's totally insane. And you never know. Because you're playing with so many people, it's, it's different every single time. People go left, people go right, um, and everyone gets in your way. And it's just it's brutal, like brutal slapstick, like yeah, insanity. Have you, have you experimented with doing maybe a smaller group of players for faster rounds? Yeah, so I think that's the further you get through the competition, we're going to like whittle it down. So for example, if only five people get through one of the rounds, we'll have special built rounds that are built for small amounts of people. Like we definitely see it as a large scale game to begin with, but over time we whittle it down and then you kind of get the elite few who are going to make it to the, did the you, gauntlet at the did end. Did you guys ever experiment with giving the characters longer legs so they could run it better? Wasn't, it wasn't was, as funny. The, it was always intentional to make them run like beagles. Yeah, we wanted to basically spend like half the time on their face falling <laughs> around trying to get back up. Like we're fully embracing like the sort of ragdoll uh, yeah, it's calamity. Right. That's what the ideal human physique looks like. That's, mm -hmm. that's what it should be. That's true. Yeah. I'm trying to get my body right. I there. think that's a good, that's a good shape. You know but, what I'm uh, talking about. <laughs> That, that guy's a watermelon. Yeah, we got watermelon in there. This looks like a children's birthday party with alcohol. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. Like, what, if, what if the whole yard was a bouncy castle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so we I'm definitely... I'm getting kind of like a WarioWare vibe from this, or yeah. the parts of uh, Mario Party I don't hate. Yeah, exactly. That's like another like, really good reference point for it is we want that feeling of like you press start, you start matchmaking, but you really have no idea what it is you're going to be coming up against this time. Now, obviously, some of the levels are sort of like they're, they're scaled for more players, and then they kind of they shrink down. Uh, is it completely random when you start up the game? You just you have no idea what's going to be thrown at you? Yeah, I think that it's likely that we'll have less and less rounds as you get further through, so you're going to have a bit of a better understanding of what's coming up. But, but as you go through, we really want like, as much variety as possible. So this, this section now is a little more 3D platformer. Yeah. Yeah, so this level is, uh, we're calling it like tail tag at the moment. So the way this one works is everybody spawns in an arena. 50% mm -hmm. of them have got these like giant fluorescent tails on the back, and it's a two-minute timer. And after two minutes, if you still have a tail, you go through. But you can like rugby tackle another fall guy, and you'll steal <laughs> their tail if they have it. Oh my God. So it's just like giant, insane chaos uh, tag. Oh so my. you don't get, you don't lose your tail from getting hit with the cartoon mallet. No, double so you dare. can. You can but kind if of you use hit them the floor, they can, people can steal them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can steal them at any time. So you can kind of use the giant hammers to like, bait people who are following you to try and get them knocked off. Or you can use it to like, just catapult yourself across the level if you're in trouble. Um, yeah, it's, it's nuts. And like, the tension just builds over the course of the two minutes. And like, we, we're playtesting these in the studio with yeah, like 70, 80, 90 people. And it's just like the shrieks and the noise. It's just a cacophony. It's, it's really cool. And it feels like if this game's a hit, you guys can just keep throwing more madness at it, right? Yeah. You can just keep inventing scenarios and throw them in there. Yeah, exactly. We want it to be, you know, like next season on Fall Guys, we just throw in new rounds and new inventions. We have like a giant spreadsheet at the studio with just everything anyone can think of. And we just prototype them, find the fun ones, and we just keep adding, keep building on it over time. This, this looks like a huge mess in the best possible way. Yeah. This is uh, PS4 and PC? Yeah, PS, PS4 and PC. When are you shooting to release? Uh, early 2020 is our, our target to release. Today. Excellent. This is, I, I love that it's, it has sort of all the energy of a, of a party game that I would play at a house party, but it's, like, it, it's with hundreds of people yeah. around the world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wonderful. Uh, well, I, I love those weird little doughy men. 